it's been my experience in comedy that most good comedy comes out of your own uh, personal uh, experiences. And I grew up in Chicago, and, and the area of town I grew up in was at the end of, the, um, of the, the bus line, and the bus drivers would turn around and they'd head back downtown. So I had been watching bus drivers since I was like five or six years old, and became convinced very early there must be a school that all bus drivers attend because they couldn't innately know these things that they're able to do. So I'd like to take you now to that school, and as we enter the course, we find the instructor talking to the student bus drivers. <clears throat> uh, gentlemen, you have just completed uh, what's known as a basic course in bus driving. Uh, we're going to present you here with actual situations you'll encounter while driving your buses. And it's primarily designed to find out whether you're going to be good bus drivers or possibly one of the, one of the great all-time bus drivers. Uh, <laughs> Of course, when I say great all-time bus drivers, immediately comes to mind the name uh, Larry Strickland. <laughs> Probably the greatest bus driver of the 40s and then into the 50s. Uh, Neil Norlag, certainly the, the greatest left-handed bus driver we've ever seen. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to take one of the students, Johnson, yeah, you want to get in the bus, and, uh, and Mrs. Selkirk, yeah, you want to get back to your marks, and we're going to... Um, present you with situations you'll very often encounter on your buses. All right, uh, Johnson, yeah, put, you pull your bus in. All right, discharge your passengers. Now, out of, out of the rearview mirror, you, you notice this old woman running for the bus. Yeah, you want, you want to start running, Mrs. Selkirk? <laughs> let's, let's see how Johnson handles this. You, you, you're, pull, you're pulling out much too fast, Johnson. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah, she gave up halfway up in the block that time. Yeah. <laughs> You know, what you want to do is just kind of gradually ease out, you know, and you're, you're kind of always holding out the hope they can catch up with the bus, you know what I mean? <laughs> <clears throat> now, another thing you have to watch, uh, a lot of these, these older women, they'll run at three-quarter speed, and then they'll, they'll put on a final burst and catch up with the bus, so. <laughs> All right, Johnson, let's try another one. Graham, you want to try your hand, the same problem? Yeah, you want to get back to your marks, Mrs. Sel uh, Selkirk? Okay, same situation, you pull in. Discharge your passengers. All right, you want to start running, Mrs. Selkirk? Let's see, let's see how Graham handles this. Did, did you see how he slammed the door right in her face that time? <laughs> That's called your perfect pullout. And <laughs> now, <clears throat> it, it wasn't part of the problem, Graham, but it shows you're thinking on your feet. You, you blocked two full lanes of traffic that time. Very good. <laughs> Okay, uh, Graham, uh, yeah, Ms. Selkirk will try situation 13, okay, yeah. Uh, Graham, we'll stay with you, you're doing very well. Uh, this happens very often, uh, you're on your route, all of a sudden a car pulls in front of you, and on the back is a sign, caution student driver learning to drive, something like that. All right, but yeah, Graham, you want to be driving? All right, Ms. Selkirk, you want to pull in front of him? Let's see how Graham handles this. Excellent, excellent. He got back, oh, I guess about 10, 15 car lengths, uh, got it up to around 60. <laughs> and then when he's right on top of her bang, he comes down on his brakes. And, and then hit the horn with, it, with his elbow. Did you, could you notice how the car just kind of swerved out of control? <laughs> when, when she dove for the floorboard? Oh, uh, very good, Graham. All right, uh, yeah, Mr. Selkirk, you want to uh, extricate yourself? Well, just crawl out the window. I think that's going to be a lot faster. Yeah. Okay, uh, now this is the situation, and this will be our, our final uh, 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 situation. Uh, you're the woman getting on the bus with the packages. And I, I'm going to have to help you with this because this requires a lot of practice, but uh, it, believe me, it, it's worth it. So, all right, get, get on the bus, that's the way. Got a bunch of packages, now fumble for your change. Very good. All right, now start heading toward the back of the bus. Get your accelerator. All right. Now you break, hit your accelerator again. Break again. Do you see how he kept her spinning in the aisle there? <laughs> now, now, the first couple times you try that, you may hit your brake a little too soon. You may, you may hit the, the, the accelerator a little too soon. But I guarantee you, within five or six months, you should be able to keep a woman spinning in the aisle <laughs> for an indefinite amount of time. All right. Uh, you want to get in your individual buses and just remember, accelerator break, accelerator break. Tomorrow, we will study the mispronunciation of street names, okay? 
Thank you very much. Thank you.